It's time to head to the repair bay to fix more vintage toys. Roll it. Hey guys, welcome to a new fixed it video, this series where we fix old vintage toys. Before we get into it, if you like what we're doing, think about leaving a like and subscribing, it really helps us out. Let's get this box open. This was a special part sent to me in the mail. We're going to work on fixing up the demon from Destro's uh, army. It's always been one of my favorite vehicles, so it was the perfect focus for a video as it needed some tender love and care. Getting the package open reveals a side radar dish from the main box body of the demon. It's pretty standard until you check it out and see it a bit closer up. So this was sent to me by one of the members of the G.I. Joe Collectors Club Canada Facebook group. You can see that it started out uh, in pretty rough shape, which is pretty common for these pieces. Like a lot of G.I. Joe parts, the radar dish isn't meant to come off once it's installed, which usually leads to broken pegs. From the pictures, you can see it was rebuilt from scratch, starting uh, with nothing, adding a metal support, building a new plastic around it and then shaping it to look like the original now for the ultimate test actually placing it in the hole where it belongs I have to admit I was worried that this would just completely crack off as soon as I tried to install it I was really careful placing it uh, turns out it fit perfectly and you could see it even rotates without any issues this is a new age of replacement parts we live in anything is possible with molding plastics and 3d printed pieces I'm totally happy with this. You would never know it's not from the factory. Uh, really nice work done on this piece. As you can see, it rotates freely and you would never know this was a re reproduction part. Now, on to our second upgrade. The front lens, as you can see, it's showing some wear and tear with the plastic clip visibly misshapen. I know with some of the thinner glass pieces, you can actually reshape them with boiling water. What I've done here is instead introduce the plastic piece to extended hot water bath in an effort to loosen up the plastic a bit. So here you can see the front where the lens is normally installed. I'll be honest, I was nervous that the piece might break, so I actually took my time and snapped the piece in off camera, but it went in perfectly without any issues. You can see the close-ups uh, that the demon could use a wipe down as it does have some dust all over the shell. Now that's complete, the demon is once again fully restored and in time to enjoy some of those glamour shots. Destro would be proud. Hopefully you like this small restoration project. If you'd like to see the previous Fixed It episode, check out our video on our Generation 1 Jetfire restoration project, uh, or why not browse our G.I. Joe playlist, which we are always updating with newly released content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.